Today we're going to talk about the Spiroscout that is manufactured in our plants in Germany, Gansworth in Germany. The Spiroscout is an ultrasonic spirometer which allows you to do a spirometry without the need of any calibration as any other spirometry needs. The Spiroscouts uses the Scout tube which is just an empty flow tube, there is no resistance in it, which adds almost zero workload to the respir respiration of the patient. The Spiroscout is PC-based and it uses the LFX program. The LFX program is one of the most uh, user-friendly programs that we can have in spirometry. When you come into the workload, start work, the lungs in the middle, just click on it and it will immediately open your database in which you will have all the patients that you have already tested or if you need to do a new patient, just put the new data of the patient here. All the fields are necessary except for the visit ID. Last name, first name, patient ID, date of birth, gender, either male or female, height and weight, the ethnic group, which can be selected from a drop-down menu, and then the reference module or protocol that you can select also from a drop-down menu. Here you will find the most common uh, protocols for spirometry and pulmonary diagnostics. There is a second field on the patient ID in which extra information can be put as for example a middle, middle name, maiden name, order ID, insurance information, ordering physician, technician, etc. that might or not be necessary. For the patient data, only the first field is the one important. To add a new patient, just click on new and you will have a new one. When you select one patient, you will immediately have all the tests that have been performed on that patient. You can see in this case we have four spirometry in all these patients. And to add a new test here, the only thing that you need to do is select the test that you will be using. Either the forced spirometry, the slow spirometry, click on more, and you have here slow spirometry, or maximum voluntary ventilation. The rest of the modules are modules that will be added as you add new equipment to the system. This is the same software that we use for body plethysmography, diffusion, uh, bronchoprovocation, etc. So, if we want to do a new test on FVC, just click on full volume. The machine automatically will measure the environmental conditions and will open the new, the new part of the software. The parts that we have here, it's the flow volume curve, directly, as you will see, with the predicted value. You will have also a, a volume time curve on real time, your uh, testing on the testing validity on the lower left hand, and the incentive screen on the lower right. You can change the sizes of these screens if you want to put the incentives bigger so that the patient can see them or smaller. It all depends on what, what you want or what the patient wants. For an adult patient, these two speedometer-like uh, screens will help the patient to achieve the six seconds asked for on spirometry by exhalation and also the one second FVC in milliliters per second, the force of exhalation. If you have a pediatric patient, sometimes to use this would be complicated. So just click on the arrow and then you will have three candles that the patient can blow at any moment. If the patient is starting with some uh, pathology that will lower its uh, peak expiratory flow, you can lower the relative effort to blow out the candles. This will not change anything 
on this parametry parameters. It's just the relative effort for the patient to blow up the candle so we avoid the child to be frustrated because he or she cannot blow the candles. To go into slow spirometry, just click on it and you will have a different screen in which you will have your volume time test by test overflow uh, here. On the second screen, your volume time, real time test. Also, the repeatability criteria. And in this case, only the two speedometers are there. For maximum voluntary ventilation, just click on the module and you will have the screens that will be needed for this, which are there, okay? You will also have the possibility of adding a flow volume loop and the screen in which you will have your MVV, both on breath indicator, inspiration, expiration, and the maneuver timer. In this case, it's up to 12 seconds instead of the old one minute that used to be needed. Once you perform the test, you go back and just click on the, on the test that you are needing, double click on it. This is a test that was done a few months ago. And what you will have is three different graphs on top. The first one will give you your best inspiration and expiration effort. The second would be all the tests overimposed one to the other. And the third will be the volume time test directly. On the lower part, on the repeatability criteria, you will have either a cross or a check mark cross if no repeatability criteria has been reached and a check mark if the repeatability criteria has been met. On the lower uh, right hand, you will have your values. You can select the values to be here, both the predicted, the pre, the measured one and the percent of the predicted, as well as the different trials that you will be using here. For the evaluation of the measured against the predicted value, you will always have a C score, which is if it's green, the measures are okay. If there's yellow, problem is detected. And if it is in red, those are the parameters that are out of the norm directly. Once we finish the testing on a patient, we can see how this will look. First, we have our best expiratory effort, which was on trial number two, our best inspiratory effort, which was on trial number one, or three trials overimposed one on the other, when we can see that they are uh, rep repeatable in this case, and also we can see the same thing on the flow volume. When we go down to the repeatability criteria, now I have my check mark, and I can see that on my testing, I have my three acceptable trials, an acceptable difference between the two FPC largest values, an acceptable difference between the two largest FEV1 values, and an acceptable repeatability between the two largest PEF values. On the lower part of the repeatability criteria, we will have the intra-trial evaluation in which we'll see if our expiratory volume is acceptable, the peak expiratory flow, the exhalation time, and the plateau are reached. If we don't have all this, we can easily coach the patient on what to do better in such a way that we can evaluate better the, the system. Again, our pre and post, uh, or pre and, and predicted values with a C-score of each one and the three trials. If we click on the edit button, I can select which trial would be the best according to me. Okay, I have trial one, trial two, trial three. I can eliminate any trial. For example, if I did four trials and the first trial was too large, then I can easily eliminate that and keep the repeatability of the, of the others. And if I click on notes, I can enter in a word-like format the technician notes of the test, the general information of the patient needed, and also we will have the automated interpretation of this uh, test. In this case, it says it is a normal 
uh, test this parameter results are within normal limits. If I agree with it, I will just save or I can discard it and put my own spirometer. When I want to do a report, I can just go to system and I will immediately have the measurement parameters that I will see on screen and the report parameters that I will have print, printed. If I want to add any parameter, I just click and drag the parameter I'm looking for and easily create my report. If I want to move them up, just drag them to the place where I want them and then I will have the report exactly as I want. Let's go back to setup and print. Once we go to print, we will have the export automatic export of the file as a PDF so that we can preview the report before we can we in, we print it. Once we have the preview of the of the report we can see exactly how it's gonna look at the moment of printout. Uh, every field in this uh, report can be edited. Here we have our three three trials, the repeatability, also the flow volume pattern and all the numbers. You can select to put either print or not print the automated interpretation and print or not print all the different uh, notes that you have added both as general or technician notes. So this is the Ganshorn LFX, one of the easiest and most versatile systems for spirometry in any kind of uh, environment. Thank you.